in logs. In real time, we calculate the physics of each log, how each one of them is pushing the other one, and how it applies force to know the exact location of each one of them. Now, let's try to have the train, and I heard there was a rumor that the train has ultrabooks on it, which is a good reason to try to hijack the train. So, how about blowing the bridge? Yeah. yeah. So let's try. I don't know, I always, you know, it's like a city. Where am I going to hit it? Okay, let's hit it here. And see what's happened to each one of the logs that I need to come to calculate the location real time. One, two, three. And you can see all the ultrabooks flying, you know, that's definitely that, that was a good reason to you know, don't don't tell you to laugh. You already disappointed me before. Okay. There's a piece of bridge staying over here. The important thing I'm trying to show is not only the base for a game for Havoc, but the fact that actually real time, we, let me move away, yeah, real time, we can calculate the location of each one of these pieces, and we do it real time. For that, you need the real compute power, and I'm waiting to see some of my competition trying to do these things. By the way, after you kill the bridge, you can continue to shoot it, it's fun. <laughs> so, Really, you know, I, I'll leave it. Uh, by the way, you still see the ultra books. What's happening if I shoot them? No, I'll never shoot an ultra book. Okay. <laughs> so this is what times it is. Although I show you a bridge and kind of a game, the reality is that what I try to show is the huge performance that you can do, and you can see how much compute power you need, and you see that it continues to calculate the position of each one of the logs, even if it's not moving, and you take 5 to 50% of ivy bridge of second bridge, sorry, that's a lot of compute power. Now the interesting thing for you to notice that this is the X11 game. But you can also notice that I can run in the place with one hand only. And the interesting thing about this game is that actually I can race without my hand at all because they're driving it from backstage. <laughs> Never mind, it's still a, hey, it's good, man. It's still a DX11. Oh, hold on for a moment, I'm not sure that you understand. You are not using a mouth, actually you're using your hand. Using my hand, I'm pulling the slingshot back and firing at this, at this building. Ouch. So actually the camera is trying to understand the location of your hand and with a gesture, yeah that's nice, and with a gesture you can play these games. <coughs> and the reason it's so important because in the future when you're sitting in a staff meeting of your boss, you don't need to toss the paper under the table so nobody will do it. You can just innocently do like this with your hand and you can play all these games. This just show you the opportunity ahead of us, again, consume a lot of compute power, but finally we've got everything that we need in order to be able to deliver this great experience. So, thanks very much, Jeff.